Welcome to Creativity TV. On today's show, do craft designer Sheila Halliwell shows us a card for a very special occasion using the X-Cut fringe scissors and the Paper Mania Happy Birthday to You collection. Let's take a look. To make this card, we're going to be using the new Paper Mania Birthday collection along with these fabulous five blade scissors from X-Cut. So to begin with, we're going to take an A6 card and we're going to use it in a landscape format and we're going to do some simple matting and layering with paper from the birthday collection and some of the capsule collection textured cardstock. So simply with your tape runner we're going to cover the back and then we're going to stick that onto the green card making sure we leave a little visible edge all the way around. And then with that one, we're going to put tape on there again and we're going to place that onto the card. So the card is totally covered and there's no white showing on there. The next step is to repeat the same process using smaller pieces of paper. This time we're using a contrasting paper, so we're going to use spotty paper again from the same birthday collection. I'm going to mat this onto some purple card. We'll then stick this onto the base of the card. So we're going to stick this flat onto the left hand side of the card. Okay, so the next step is to cut a circle which will fit inside the box. And what we're going to do is decorate this with some of our number stickers from the birthday collection and also some of the sticky bunting. We're going to remove some of the sticky bunting from the sheet and we're going to chop this up into small pieces just to fit around the circle. And we'll place that around the edge of the circle, press it down firmly and then again we're going to cut more of the bunting but we're going to actually cut the loops off so that we have straight edges. Don't worry if the edges are not even because we're going to cover them with shimmer dots to hide where we've joined the bunting together. Stick it in place, press it down firmly. You don't need to apply the bunting around the whole of the circle because the bottom section is going to be covered with your banner and your greeting tag. So as long as you form a continuing circle around the edge, that will be sufficient. So the next thing to do now is to apply the circle and we're going to do this by placing some foam pads onto the back of the circle. So we're going to put five pads, one at either edge and one in the centre just so we get a nice flat surface. Just make sure that sits flat. To make our fringed banner along the bottom we've taken one of the die cut board strips from the Birthday Ultimate Collectors Pack and we're going to use the scissors to form the fringes along the edge. So start off with your scissors along the edge and make sure that your card is tucked right into the back of the blades and gently cut along the strip making sure that you're cutting nice and straight, evenly spacing where you replace the blades. What I particularly like about these scissors is that when you cut along the strip, you'll see that the little fringe is slightly tipped to the left, which gives you a shadowy effect on your card. You can't really see it until you get it on the card, but it works whether you're using paper or card whether it's patterned or plain. Okay, so now what we need to do is place our fringe just along the edge here and we're going to cut it to the right length. The next step is to apply the border to the bottom of the card, but before we do that, we need to actually place a length of one of the stickers along here as well to tie in with our birthday theme. So we're going to use one of the border stickers from the cardstock sticker set and we're going to place that along the edge of the fringed panel. Press it down firmly and then trim off the excess. Because our circle was attached to the card using foam pads, then we also need to apply the fringed banner on foam pads as well, just so that we get a nice even flow going across the card. You might find it easier to actually place your banner the opposite way up underneath your card, just so that you're not putting foam pad on top of your circle which will again create an uneven effect and then all you need to do is place the banner across the bottom of the card so that it just overlaps the edge of the bunting. 
and press that firmly in place. The next step is to apply the greeting. Because the greeting is actually an adhesive greeting, we don't want the sticky to go onto the card. So we're going to apply this to a piece of acetate and then cut round it. So if you just simply apply it like that, press it down, and then we're going to trim around the edge and then again apply that onto foam pads to give that raised effect. Okay, as you can see here, I've applied three pads to the back of the grating. When we place this onto our card, because it's going to overlap the circle, which is already raised on 3D pads, we might find that this sits flatter at this end. So we're going to add an extra layer of pads just to make sure it's completely level. So remove the backing tape from two of them and place another one on top and place that onto your card. We're now going to put two balloons on. And again, we've done the same thing with these. We've applied them to acetate, put foam pads on the back, and then we just need to put those in place and tuck the ends of the balloon strings just behind the greeting. And to give an extra dimension to your card, it's quite nice if you layer these so that they actually overhang the edge of the card. So next, we're going to apply the numbers to the circle on the card. Now, on the original card, you'll notice that it was for his 30th birthday, but just to show you how versatile these stickers are, because we have such a wide array of numbers in all different colours, we're going to change it and we're going to do 50th birthday. Now, we just peel the stickers off, and I'm going to use my poker tool just to help me position it. And I'm going to put it over to the left of the card so that I can fit the numbers on. And before I press them down, I would just pop the ends on. And then we need to take the letters from the back to complete our 50th greeting. So the last thing we need to do is apply shimmer dots along the edges of the bunting. We're going to use the lilac shimmer dots and we're going to use a large one, a small one, a large one and alternate it all around the edge. That way it cleverly covers up the joins in the bunting. So we'll apply the large ones first, apply the smaller ones, and once you've applied the final dot, there is your completed card. I absolutely love the fringe scissors. There's so much you can do with them. But my favourite technique is using them to make giant quilled flowers. I love these flowers. And you can find this project in the Creativity Club section right now. If you haven't heard about the Sketch Inspiration downloads, then why not? Katie shares two every month to get you inspired. They're brilliant, but not just a copy. You can actually adapt to create your own version. And then no more crafters block. This month, one of the sketches is based on Sheila Halliwell's beautiful project. So pop over to the download section now and download it for yourself. You can also find details of all the projects featured in today's show here in the Creativity Club at docrafts.com. And if you do use the sketches, feel free to email me at tv at docrafts.com. Until then, happy crafting!